Hello everyone and welcome to Firefall. This video will be a bit longer than all my other videos because in this video I will show you everything you have to know to be successful in Firefall. Um, down in the descriptions I got um, all the parts of the video so you can skip um, some parts you already know or you're not interested in. Um, at first start with the game basics. Um, you all should view the um, story video that you know um, what the scenario of this game is. And we get battle frames. In other um, MMOs you get characters like um, a warrior, a rogue or whatever. Here we get battle frames. And a huge difference is we got only one character, one inventory, but um, different battle frames. Those battle frames are um, or is the armor you can equip. So you use another equip, you run a, another battle frame, but it's still the same character. This is really important because um, you have to storage all your weapons and equips from the other battle frames in the same inventory. So at first, battle frames. What are they? Let's go to the Firefall website. It's firefallgame.com. You all should know this and for you who uh, found this video by accident <laughs> and don't know about the game, um, link is in the video description. Battle frames. Go to game and battle frames. And here we got an overview of all battle frames. We got the assault, the dreadnought, the recon, biotech, engineer and again our assault. But those aren't um, all battle frames you got or you can choose because those are the basics, the basic battle frames. And every battle frame get two or three special battle frames with um, some special abilities and so on. Um, let's take the basic assault. You get so you start your game and you choose assault, so you're a level 1 assault. To activate another battle frame, for example the Tiger Claw or the Fire Cat, you have to level your basic assault to level 40, what is level cap at the moment, and then you're getting 10 pilot token. And for those pilot tokens you can activate an improved battle frame. An improved battle frame like the Tiger Claw or the Fire Cat. Another way um, are Red Beans, but those are real cash, or this is the real cash money. So, um, it, this is optional. But I will show you this later in the video. So, after you leveled your Assault to 40, you can choose not only the Tiger Claw or the Fire Cat. Um, you got your 10 pilot token. With this 10 pilot token, you can activate every improved battle frame. For example, go to the Dreadnought. You can activate the Arsenal, for example, with the um, 10 pilot token you played with your Assault. I won't tell you in this video what's the difference between all those battle frames. If you're interested in this, go to the website and do it on yourself. This video would take hours if I tell you every different and so. So keep going back into the game. So here we're still standing. My battle frame looks at the moment so um, you have to know I am level 40 at already with this but um, I put it nearly in a basic mode <laughs> or starting mode 
Um, one of the most important parts of every game are the cape bindings. So um, with escape, you can activate this window. Here you got um, some informations about Red Bean Store, Currency Exchange, I will show you them later, um, your friend list, and daily login reward. Um, for every daily login, you get yeah, a reward, and you can activate this. In this case, um, I already <laughs> they have day 14 and at day 5 plus. You get plus 10% XP, Crystide and Reputation for the next 60 minutes to activate. Um, yeah, key bindings. We open the options menu and have here our key bindings. We get um, different, different charts here with um, movement, combat, social and so on. But the most important is the interface. The character overview. This is a complete new function we got, and this is really awesome. I show you why. Um, I open the loadout while pressing this key I insert in character overview, and here we got everything of our battle frame. Back in the days, you had to find such a station, and you see we got the, we got the same window. So um, back in the days, you had to find such a sta station to change your weapon or your abilities. You still need them stations, the stations to um, repair your equipment. That select all. It will cast 156 crystide. This symbol is Crystide, and the basic currency of the game. And you need this for the paint shop, because um, you got warp paints for your frame. This is, by the way, the fire cat. Usually it would look like this. But um, you can buy some uh, warp paints for red beans. Or you can unlock them in game or when you uh, finish a battle frame. For example, um, I finished the the fire cat. This would be this war paint. So if you finish the fire cat, you get this war paint and you can use it on every battle frame. But let's stay on this one. You can also um, get some camouflage and stuff like this. So, um, yeah. In the key bindings, you will also find the VK key. K? I think it's K. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is the mouse mode. The mouse mode is uh, really interesting for um, clicking on other players, uh, for ignoring whisper, dual ad friend and stuff like this, or uh, in white to squad. So the next key you got um, is the H. H is the drop down menu. And this is a really awesome function of this game. You press H and got this rewards and with the scroll uh, scroll button on your mouse you can scroll through all those. Um, resource gathering and so on. And if you right click once you get in another men menu. Here is for example the cash shop, the marketplace and so on. Also the social parts. Um, I will show you this uh, in a few minutes. One important part of the drop down menu are the supplies. You get, um, sorry, um, 
glider pads. You'll get them um, um, if you're playing some a bit longer, or you can find them also on the map. They are looking like this. So, what does a glider pad? It launches you in the air, and you can glide. How how it's called, no? So, you got no rockets on it or something to uh, push you up. You can only glide downwards. And um, yeah. Also, you get your own glider pads. As you saw, um, I opened the supplies. The emerald glider pad clicked it and we got it down here in 5. What are 1, 2, 3, 4? Four? 4, um, I opened the loadout and got my abilities. My afterburner, this is an Accord Assault ability. My fire cat is an improved assault battle frame, so it can use every Accord Assault abilities and weapons. The same is for the Tiger Claw, but Fire Cat can't use abilities and stuff from the Tiger Claw, and the Tiger Claw can't use stuff from the Fire Cat. But both can use the stuff from Accord Assault, and Accord Assault can only use Accord Assault equipment and weapons. No Fire Cat or Tiger Claw equipment. This is really important. The improved can use from the basic, but not from each other, and so. So, we get the afterburner, enter it in ability 1. Um, let's push it into 1. Then we got um, an inferno dash, enter it in ability field 3, and Let's take, 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 crater. So, now we got abilities from 1, 2, 3. But we can't, oh, we can, nice. And they changed this also. Um, back in the days, 4 was only for H HKM. But now you can insert every spell in it. So, what is the HKM? HKM is a special ability you load while fighting. As you can see there is a, um, a blue bar around this and when you're fighting and damaging enemies this bar will load and after it's full you can use the spell. Then the fuel is gone and you have to fill um, the loading of the spell again again before you can use it so but we also have some slots here uh, primary weapon secondary weapon and battle frame cores I got uh, yeah let's take the white weapon first as you can see there is a little red dot down here. If you right click it, exa uh, examine, was oh, sorry, <laughs> my English is terrible. Um, you get some weapon modules. This is a rod, uh, a red module, so you can only insert red modules, weapon modules. For example, we get a rapid fire. If you would insert it. The weapon would fire 7.5% um, faster. Remember, this is only a white weapon. Let's insert a green weapon. Now we got a red and a yellow dot. The yellow is for all yellows here, and yellow is, for example, a long mag module. So, long mag is a longer magazine 
for sure. So here you get 20% more magazine capacity. Uh, capacity. And now I take a blue weapon. It's a secondary weapon. You see, we got a uh, yellow, red, and blue dot. And the blue dot is, for example, for uh, weapon accuracy. And as you see, we got also a purple weapon. I insert this, and this got only or also only three three slots for extra modules. And then we got on our right the battle frame core. Our cores are down here. You see they got um, different colors, also white, blue and green. And you'll also find uh, or can craft purple and yellow I think. No, no yellow. Not at this point. Um, and they are called energy battle frame cord. For example, this one got um, the second second line jet energy. The jet energy are your uh, boosters or your jump jets. This you see the um, bar in the right. Let's insert uh, an, an energy core and wait until it's full and do it again. And as you see we got uh, a lot higher than before. And also there are um, air sprint, health, regeneration or maximum health. Um, jump higher and run speed. I'm using most of the time the run speed course for my uh, fire cat Cause I insert all uh, Three or four moving uh, um, perks And perks You need those battle frame garage also for perks if you activate it, you got your perks and added perks. As you can see, I got 21 from 21 points used and 8 from 10 perks. I change the battle frame. Go to battle frame station. This is, by the way, the only point you can change your battle frame. Let's take the Tiger Claw. As you can see this one runs a lot slower. Go to Battleframe Garage, open the perks, edit perks. This one only got 11 points and with level 40 you'll have 21 points. And on our left we got the basics costing one point. Improved for two, advanced for five and master eight. You will unlock um, those perks with leveling other battle frames. For example, um, kill stealer you need rhino level 30 or for master you need here the accord recon level 40. And here you need um, biotech level 20 and here are um, those basic perks and down here you got um, some exclusive perks. For example here you can use, you we got um, rally, it's a dragonfly exclusive perk. Actual, actually we are the tiger claw, so we can't use this. And I want this battle frame to run faster, so I take sprinter, prototype, and down here, quick pivot servos. Lock in perks. What important is, 
when you want to reset them, you get only some loadings and if they are all used, you have to buy them for red beans, the real cash. So, and now, we're running a lot faster than before. We got the usual walking while pressing um, w, w and if you press shift once, you're going to run. If you press it again, we're back in walking. So, I'll change back to my firecat. And let's go to the printer. This is um, one of the most important uh, points in the whole game. Because new jobs we get manufacturing, refining and research. Refining you get your you um, collect raw materials while you're playing the game. For example with a thumper. I'll show it to you in a few uh, in a few moments. And here you can refine your raw materials to uh, yeah, usual materials you can use. So this is really important. Everything you got here you should refine that you can use those stuff. Let's go back and have a look at research. We got on our left weapons, abilities, battle frame production and general knowledge. Um, start with the general knowledge. We got health packs, stim packs and thumper. Uh, health packs, you can use them and they will heal you um, about 30% of your maximal HP. And stim packs will heal you 50% of your HP, but 10 per second. So it will take 5 seconds until you get your 50% heal. And if you're getting damage by this 5 seconds, the heal will be interrupted. So you should really use this only when after a fight or when you got enough cover and stuff like this, yeah? <laughs> then we got our personal thumper. Here you can research um, personal thumper and squad thumper from 1 to 3. And how you will use them or how you use them I'll show you in a few moments, so keep calm. <laughs> Weapon production. Here we got research, plasma gun, heavy machine gun, fusion cannons, terminal cannons and so on and so on. Um, let's go for terminal gun, cause the terminal gun is fire catch primary weapon. Or the fusion gun is the tiger claw primary weapon. So everything is in the information box when you um, put your mouse over the thing you want to research. As you can see, we got um, a white line which is connected with every behind from uh, beginning up to level 40 and with every stage we got some um, green, blue and purple stages down downward. The thing is, when you research fusion gun level 6, level 7, level 8, you have to research again the white level 10, then level 11, then tw 12. After this you have to research the white and again downwards the green, the blue, the purple and again the white, the green, the blue, the purple. and this will take some time for researching. For example, the level 23 takes one hour, about one hour to research, 35,000 crystite and 117,000 research points. And this is quite a lot. And you're only at level 23. 
the last level 40 gun will take 432,000 research points and about 130,000 crystite and will take nearly 3 hours. Um, the time it costs would, uh, was really decreased. Back in the days you had to wait about 5 or 7 days until the research got finished. Um, I would say only research Dwight back to 40 you will find enough equipment uh, in, in all dungeons or while doing jobs and missions in the world. Um, or you can buy them from market, you can get them really cheap there from other players. Um, then ability production, we got ability set, accord, assault. Here is no information or no nearer informations what abilities are in there. It says all accord assault abilities. As you can see I researched them a bit a bit faster. Uh, let's go to menu factor and here we get battle frame equipment modules and so on. Here you can buy, uh, build the thumpers you researched. You can also craft a vehicle or mission items and crafting component, components. You'll need them for buying, uh, buying building weapons and equipment. So now we want the battle frame equipment. Shared equipment are battle frame cores. And here we get Assault. Remember, we researched the Assault ability set. Here we get our Accord Assault. In here we get the Afterburner. Bomb Away. Burn Jets. Crater. and overcharge. All those abilities are from those of this the only um, here ability research ability set. And you got this for every battle frame. So we got the accord assault, the tiger claw and the fire cat. We all know tiger claw and fire cat are also assaults, but they got some special own abilities. For example, with this one, um, the Inferno Dash, I use at ability 3. God damn, I got stuck at... yeah, someone. So it's... I'll show you again in a few moments. <laughs> Big fail. Um, research. So the abilities um, are clear at this, this point. You get this for every battle frame. Then battle frame production you got HKM type sets. For example the A is for HKM for assault type battle frames. And B is for biotech battle frames. So this is um, HKM is again the spell you have to load while you're fighting and after it's fully loaded you can use it once. And then you have to load it again before you can use it. Um, and I researched type E, only the level 8, it's for engineer. So what are engineer HKMs? Because it's called HKM set. Let's go back to menu factor and to engineer. Here we get our Accord engineer, the Bastion and the Electron. Bastion and Electron are the improved engineer battle frames. So, a court engineer got an anti personal turret as HKM. As you can see here, engineer HKM ability. The Bastion got. Um, no, where is it? Here. Um, fort what fortify 
Um, yeah, this is the, you know, exactly, it's the engineer HKM. And the electron got electrical storm. It's the engineer HKM ability. Um, and down below it calls requirements, requires electron engineer types. So the bastion can't use it because it's not the electron. This is important. But the accord engineer, anti personal turret, requires engineer type. So the bastion and the electron could use it. And down here we got um, the cores, for example the health core or the health regeneration core, the speed core and so on. You can also research them in this. And down here we got the Weapon and ability modules, the red, blue, the yellow and the red. And those modules are those parts you can insert into your weapon and abilities. I already showed you um, while right clicking a weapon, for example. And here we could insert a red module or a yellow module, as you can see. There are also um, mixed modules, like the Havoc module here, it's a green web module, and as you can see, it would fit into yellow and blue. And this one would um, give us 28% more mag and 14% more AoE, for example. And. Our abilities also got those core places are already insert um, uh, ability reduce module uh, in my afterburner in crazy duration and 20% strange strength so it's um, pushing me harder so um again one is our afterburner the basic accord assault uh, ability this looks like this it pushes us uh, a lot hard forward the shield around me which exploded now um, is a perk and the fire cat only spell or ability light on three is this it also pushes us forward but this is why it's called Inferno Dash. It leaves uh, uh yeah, it leaves fire where you're flying. So, um, I wanted to show you how to find stuff you can can refine. The basic method is um, thumping. So you need, we need our scan hammer, let's put it on 6. We need a thumper, let's take only the stock personal thumper. Um, and I want a heal pack for example. As you can see everything you choose in the drop down menu will put into 5 and you have to uh, switch it into another and i want my vehicle my lgv and now i have to choose the stocks personal sumper again so let's go out of the town cause we're not allowed to thump in here Thumping is for getting resources from the ground. And you also need biomaterial. You'll get it from killing uh, NPCs like, um, or animal NPCs like the Hisser here. 
and this can or those NPCs can drop biomaterial. And the third part of um, crafting is electronic material. And this you'll get from uh, human human NPCs like chosen, but the chosen are uh, the alien race 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 whatever we're fighting again. But yeah, yeah, human like let's say it this way, and then there are the tanking bandits. And all those uh, can drop equipment like weapons and stuff like this. And if, if you recycle them, you'll get electronic material. But now we are looking for resources. Use the scan hammer, and here we see iron ore and shifted earth. Iron ore is what we want, but we only got 13%. Us usually, you have to change direction and look um, where we got a higher chance um, that until you find the highest spot and then you use your thumper. Now for showing I'll uh, put the thumper down. Do not cross, do not cross and you really should not cross this because here's our thumper coming. If you're standing here, <laughs> the thing will kill you. This is um, the smallest thumper you can use. And here we see um, the capacity and the integrate hit. And on our right side, also the time remaining. And while the thumper is looking for resources, those uh, animals from the earth are getting pissed about it and try to uh, destroy your thumper and kill you. So you should def really defend the thumper or those NPCs will kill it. And if it's destroyed, you have to build a new one and they are uh, yeah, really expensive. So try to not get it destroyed. I don't want you uh, to show you all the 5 minutes, let's send them back. Usually you do this only after it's finished at 100%. And we got uh, a new, new information. And we can open those menu with pressing M. And I want to show it, so I click left mouse key. Here I got an overview and my rewards. So now I got 5 plus 1 cause we got um, resource bonus iron ore. So this is how we get iron ore. Or minerals. If we open our interface we see for example um, down here our salvage not recycle sandwich and no I want the inventory so we also got here our salvage down here you see I got uh, 120 from 175 slots I can um, carry with me if I um, have more than 175 I can't move so you can not pick them up but then you won't be able to move so activate cell watch. Um, I don't need remote explosion, I don't need a Cairo granite and so on. And you don't only have those 5 slots, they will um, improve when you're in some more. So for example, where is it? Broken bandit gear, all recovered chosen tech and those modules. So as you see we got also more slots down here. Let's salvage this stuff. And now the stuff is destroyed, but we got um, new stuff. For example the research points we need for the printer. We got a bit crystite, electronics, 
biomaterials and on the top also electronics. So this is the way you get your materials. Now we have to go back to the printer, refine them and then we are able to use them and craft stuff with those with those materials. Um, yeah, now we got a lot of information about the basic things you'll use uh, <laughs> after you already played some hours. And how will you um, level, up, level up and get better weapons while playing the usual game, not um, crafting and so. Um, if I open the map while plus pressing the M key, we got those purple events, Aras Mission or um, a crashed LGV, for example, or a crashed Thumper. Those are world events that spawn randomly, those crashed, crashed Thumper and LGVs. You can go there and repair them. You will find a Thumper lying on the ground and some parts around. You pick them up and carry it through the Thumper. Um, the same thing is with the um, Crash LGV. You will um, get uh, a little roboter who want to um, get all the information out from the LGV while it's crashed and so, and you have to f defend it because there are tank tanking coming who want to um, destroy or capture those this robot. So those are um, the basic world events. And down here we got the Ares mission, for example. Back in the days this was the only way you could level up, uh, or it was the most used, most efficient way to level up. Uh, as you can see we got different symbols. Here we got the usual helmet and down here we got uh, some white stuff above it. This white stuff should be um, people, so this is a group mission. You should not go alone in there. And as you can see, we got trans up command level 14, 15. So this area, or in this area, you can level your battle frame from level 14 to 15, you can start with 13 and can go up to yeah, 16, 17, whatever. Down here we got 20 to 24. Um, higher levels you'll reach here in this area. It's um, the dredge area or Zartal. And then down here we got the broken peninsula. It's the PvP area. And where is it? Devil's Dusk. Tusk is um, the area up to level 40. So here you can level your frame from what? Uh, I don't know exactly. I think it's 35 or stuff like this up to 40 or 38. Um, you can also see here Cliff's Edge and Blackwater, those are, for example, dungeons. I'll show them you uh, in a later. The basic thing how to level up are those job boards. And you should only use those job boards in this level range you are, because much higher are really difficult you won't be able to finish them on your own. Also, the missions in your level area or in your level range are very difficult. You should do this always in a group or at least with two people. This will... it's possible to do alone, but it's really hard. So, usually you activate the board and can switch or choose between some missions.
I'll accept this. I won't do the mission now complete cause this will take a few minutes. But um, the first steps I'll show you. So, um, I got on our right side some infos, speech co talk comments and so, and my target. And also I got a new waypoint on the map, a mother in need. This is the mission we um, activated. Let's go there. So, here we got our mother in need. Let's talk to her, her pressing A, and as you see, Iris job completed. But this, this is not the full job, this is one part of the job. As you can see on our right, it's loading already our next mission. And this is 740 meters away. And this will take some time reaching there, or reaching this point. So I will, um, yeah, don't go on with the mission now. This is only the basic, how it works. And after you finish the mission completely, you're getting some rewards. Um, as you can see, you get Crystite, Experience, Copper Tokens, Ruchas and Chance Item. Chance Item is, for example, 20% more XP the next 20 minutes or stuff like this. So you can't activate them. You're getting them activated while you're um, completing the mission. And the copper tokens, you can use them at the lottery. This looks like this. And on the map, it's this symbol. On our left side, you can see it in, in bigger. So, talk to it, and usually you get. Here are our um, bronze tokens you could, or our copper tokens we could insert. And here we see gold, silver, and here are, are our copper token. Those copper you'll get them from the missions. Silver token you'll get them, or you can build them. And the gold token which have the best chance of getting a really great item. You're getting them... Yeah, there are two ways. The usual way is purchase gold token. So if I click this, red bean store, so real cash. Here we get our token and I could yeah, buy them for red beans. And the other way is you can craft a silver token and you've got a really little chance to win a gold token after inserting a silver token. But this chance is, uh, yeah, really low. So, this was level areas, job boards, reward of the jobs. Um. I think we already got the most points, but some little things are missing at the moment. For example, the mark place. Mark place, you can search for weapons for example. And as you see, they're costing credits. How to get credits? We could sell items. And insert a price, and if someone is buying a weapon, we're getting those uh, credits. I already sold some, so recent, recent, where is it? Recent listing, yeah, recent listing, right. Um, I got those two, I listed in the marketplace. And 
those little mailbox. Oh, God damn it. And Storm clouds on the horizon. it got sold. Now I got my letter. I sold pilot license engineer bastion one and down here electron. I already took this. And here mail attachment 3.6k credits. So 3600 credits. Redeem all. And now I got 3600 credits more. Usually you use Chris Tide, but here we get our currency exchange. The credits are the marketplace currency, and if you die, you can revive yourself on the place you died with credits, using credits. Other player can um, also revive you with no costs, but uh, if there is no one else and you don't want to get respawned in the next tower, you can respawn with credits, but this is a bit expensive. It costs 250, I think. Um, there is an exchange limit a day. You can only change 125,000 Crystite into 5,000 credits. I will do this now. Accept. And now I get 25,700 credits and only 154,000 Crystite. And as you can see, I can't uh, convert more because I reach my daily limit and it will reset it in 10 hours. Then we get red bean ex exchange. I could sell red beans or buy red beans for credits. But um, I won't show you everything about this cause this is a bit complicated and stuff like this. You will need this after playing a lot of hours. Um, so it's not this important now. But we got yeah a few minutes ago I told you there are dungeons and there's also a storyline mission. Actually we only got um, back to mission 8. I already played all those missions and uploaded it on YouTube. You will find those links down in the description. And yeah, here in Copacabana we got our armored dropship. Here we can choose instances. Those are the instances for the storyline mission. As you can see, mission one, crash down, mission three, dirty deeds, and so on. Those are the storyline missions and as you can see you get a minimum level and a group. And if you're doing it in your level you should really really use a group. Um, special um, power grab. Um, it's, nearly impo it's nearly impossible to do it alone. Also if you're level 40 it's so hard to do it alone. Use a group. And Blackwater Anomaly, you can do it alone, but it will be really hard also. So, watch the videos I already uploaded. Again, links in the description. And you will see what, I, what I'm talking about. So those are um, storyline missions. You can repeat them and getting XP for them. And in every bigger town we get arc folder. And here we get missions, for example, Cliff's Edge, this is an extra dungeon. We get our campaign and travel. For example, we got Devil's Task. This is the area you can level up to for, uh, 40, yes. Our town is from what you get here. Uh, 24 up to more 
I don't know at the moment. And Coral Forest is where we are at the moment. And Broken Peninsula is the PvP, PvP area. It's an open world PvP area. So, at last, I want to show you how to insert add ons. Because there are uh, add ons at the moment. Uh, or at the moment, there are not so much add ons. Because we updated from the beta to release. It, now, while I'm making this video, we are in pre in uh, pre release. Let's call it this way. Because the official launch is on um, at the 29th. Um, yeah, I want to show where to insert add ons. We got our download folder with Boeing. Boeing is an add on you can switch instances. I'll show you in a few moments in the game. I already extracted it, got the Boeing folder, and here we got another Boeing folder with all those informations in here. So we need this folder copy it and go to your usual Windows document folder. Here we got a firefall order uh, folder and you have to create a new folder called add-ons written like this. Open it and here you can insert this this folder with all this information in here. And in game, you have to close the game and open it again, or restore it. And with the basic add-on, you insert, for example, it's uh, slash Boeing. But I, um, yeah, change the command because I don't want to write Boeing. I change it into server, and then you get this. And this is a complete overview of all instances of your actual region. We could choose now to another region and you can let you show all other regions like Sartau, Devil's Dusk, uh, Broken Peninsula and so on. So this is how you install add-ons at the moment. You really need this um, Windows Documents, Firefall, and the add-ons. It's not in the install installing folder from the game. So, I think we got all the basics. A lot of information <laughs> at, at the point of... or at now. If I should explain something more detailed or if I miss something or you miss some informations or get stuck at the game because um, you need more informations or whatever write it in the comments below and I will make a video about it explaining those special problems yeah you know more more detailed uh, yeah we got <laughs> nearly one hour now. I would say let's stop it here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Get some informations you needed, or get the informations you are, you are able to play the game. If you like the video, please leave a like. <laughs> and if you think yes, this guy makes good videos. I don't want to miss future videos. Please subscribe. And if not, then not. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. And I really hope I see you in the next video. Bye.